Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Dashgraph and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I decided to make a video about music bot. I see a lot of tutorials and a lot of people are looking for how to make a Discord, you know, music bot or something like that. So I decided to make a video about it and I hope it helps everybody about this. Make sure to follow me through to the video so you won't have any problems. This is because very important because I see a lot of people watch my videos and then they just skip two minutes or something. Each minute I may do something very important, which is really required so just make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video just take your time it's better than taking more time watching video again and again and again so just watch the video fully that'll be awesome go ahead and like the video if you haven't if you like this video if it works for you or something let me know in the comment section down below as well that'll be awesome so first thing first we gotta do for this if you don't know what fmmpeg is fmmpeg is the thing that we're gonna use for our music pod and it's very important. Why? Because we are gonna use that to run the bot and the bot plays the music for us. So first thing you gotta do is very, very simple. You just have to go ahead and watch the video in the description. It's gonna be the first link, which is called how to install FMMPEG. If you installed it already, then you're gonna be fine. If you wanna test if you install it or not, you have to do CMD. And once you click on this, you can right click on here, click on run as administrator. And as you can see, we have the command prompt here. You just have to type FMMPEG. And there we go, I have FMMPEG, as you can see everything showed up, how I can do this and stuff. If it doesn't show up, but it says it's not even recognized, this means that you didn't install FMMPEG correctly or you don't even have it. So I say, go to the first link in the description so you guys can go ahead and click on that link and install FMMPEG. It's going to be a separate video from this, from someone else. And once you install it, make sure to restart your PC because sometimes when the people restart your PC, they will work if it doesn't work. I'm saying that. And that's pretty much it. So next thing you gotta do, we're gonna today we are gonna use a module and the module is going to be on npm website so i'm gonna type npm uh, if you don't know in case there we go npm.js we have something called discord player discord player is the best module right now than the easiest model that i've ever seen that is very simple to make for music bot or something you just have to go ahead and install the package and you just have to use the functions for it so it will work so once you guys done this you just have to go ahead and go to the folder that you have for your music bot um, make sure you have some basic understanding of Discord.js too because it's very important in general. Um, so I'm going to click on new terminal and once I did this, make sure you guys have node.js too. So first thing I'm going to do in here is I'm just going to go ahead and do npmi discord.js. So once I do this, I'm going to do this actually because I didn't install the package yet. So I'm going to do npm init. Um, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We don't need anything here. There we go. So once I did this, I'm just going to have to go ahead and do npmi discord.js and once i do this it's going to install discord.js for me and now the package that we're going to install is going to be discord player but however at the same time we're going to install some packages because this package will work with other packages at the same time too so we're just going to install discord player and once we did this we just have to go ahead and uh, see the dependencies so in the dependencies tab there's going to be some options that you gotta install in the dependence div dependencies are really not a big deal but you have to install opus if you don't know so i'm gonna go ahead and install one by one so you guys will never lose where you are currently at so i'm just gonna go ahead and do this and i'm just gonna install this first one by one make sure you install them one by one one by one and so you won't have any problems when the bot is working so i'm installing this and um let's do note fetch as well install spotify url info this is gonna work if you have a spotify url you will search through the internet with that spotify url and wipe tpl this as well and the two last things that we're gonna install is gonna be this one here i'm just gonna install this as well and now the last thing we're gonna install is discord just opa so if you're using kuroko for hosting which i made a video about how you can host your discord but it's gonna be one more thing you don't have to install opus or something but look at this so if i want to host my bot into the heroku i just have to go ahead and you know install this normally as usual but if you want to host it on heroku you gotta delete two files in case you want this to work so we just have to go to the node modules we have discord.js we have node pre gyp and opus so we just have to go ahead and delete these two folders so it won't interrupt your heroku hosting and if you don't know what heroku is it's a hosting platform free that i made a video i was the first person who realized that you can host your discord bot for free 24 7 and it was insane so if you don't know how you can host your discord bot i'm gonna put a suggestion right now on top right so you guys can go ahead and check it out 
that's it so if you if you're hosting it on your computer then you just have to go ahead and have these two folders and if you do it already don't worry just install a post again so it will come back so now i'm gonna go ahead and create a new file i'm gonna call it index.js and first thing we gotta do is technically doing const um bot it's gonna be uh actually i'm gonna make in discord or something we're gonna do const uh discord is equal to a new discord i'm sorry um require being stupid right now um discord.js there we go and something like capital there we go so once i did this i'm just have to go ahead and do um new discord dot client there we go that's pretty much it so we did this now we're gonna do bot dot login there's something that we have to do first so we're just gonna go ahead and do bot we're gonna test out first if the bot is working so we're gonna do no dot first and i think the bot should work without any problems because uh there we go music bot test is online perfect so first off we're gonna do bot dot bot dot on and then we're gonna use um ready and then we are just gonna go ahead and do bot i mean there's no require for this but just do this arrow function um i'm gonna do this as well do bot i don't know it's just not a really big deal but uh yeah we're gonna do bot uh console console the lock actually console the lock so this will say us that the bot is online so we're gonna do console the lock bot is online so we will know that the bot is online we don't have to check on discord so we're just gonna do no dot again and this time it's gonna say bot is online and that's pretty much it so next thing is gonna be the command so if you look at the documentation for discord player there is some basis for the discord player you can uh, do so first thing they added the cons player or something like that um so i'm gonna do the same but we're gonna change some stuff so first thing we're just gonna go ahead and make it and once we're gonna say that, that um these three things and i'm gonna explain what are these for so one of them it says that if we use player with capital p um it's gonna go ahead and you know do this function for discord player and if you use this one it's gonna make a new player for this and which is gonna be climb which we use bot for it as you can see we don't use client so we're gonna do convert this to bot and add this as well so if you use bot.player means player and the player is this area and this player will require this one here pretty simple straightforward so we're just gonna go ahead and make another event we're gonna call it on and then we're gonna call it message so one what is this is gonna do is it's just gonna realize that if you use the prefix or something like that then it's gonna you know play the song technically so i'm just gonna go ahead and do um message and then we need two things or maybe just one thing message only so we're just gonna do message or you, you, you can use msg as well but i'm not gonna use msg because i don't like it um i'm gonna do this there we go so this is another event which is the message we're gonna first do let prefix uh, the prefix we're gonna use is gonna be exclamation mark let's just use that and um we're just gonna go ahead and tell this if if the, if it wasn't starting with um prefix dot length uh prefix dot length then it's gonna return so what i mean by that is technically if the message wasn't starting with the prefix then it's not gonna do anything so for the play command it's pretty much the same for we just have to do exclamation mark and play then um let's just say something like hello and my bad i removed that line of code because um i forgot that we are gonna do something else so for doing that we just have to go ahead and do this so i put everything so i can explain it much more easier to you all so as you can see we have arcs here we have the arc system because we're gonna say hello on that hello area that i just showed up uh that i just showed it there is gonna be another argument and the bot is not gonna recognize us so we're just gonna say that it's gonna be the perfect style length and because we already had this area in the arc system we didn't need to do it again so i just removed that line of code on there and i put the command which is gonna interact with the arcs make sure you have these both together and for the play command it's gonna do let track and uh, it's gonna go ahead and get the information from the tracked plate and it's gonna show it and track that name and target requested by i'm gonna put the documentation for this in the description there's a lot of function that you guys can do and i'm gonna make more videos about this because it's just fun actually if i want to be honest with you so as you can see we have everything here we're gonna say that's currently playing track name requested by this person 
And then in the stop command, it's gonna do bot.player.stop. And for the play command, it's gonna do bot.player.play. And another thing, make sure you have the async function, because sometimes uh, whenever you're running the bot, you're using await, and we most of the times use that actually. So for make, make sure you guys use async, because we're gonna use await a lot in here. So if you guys do this correctly, then this means that it's gonna work without any problems. And if you just test out the bot, um, which I'm gonna show pretty much right now, it's gonna work without any problems. So we're just gonna go ahead and do no dot, simply, and then we're gonna play that song again. And, um, oh, until the texture, there we go. So the song is played now, and if I do stop, stops. The bot is gone, the music is stopped, and that's pretty much a safe forward. However, if you don't have a, uh, however, like I said, we don't have a queue system yet. This is just a basic video uh, for you guys to introduce how you guys can make a Discord bot. But I'm going to make this a playlist so you guys can go ahead and do that at the same time too. Make sure to subscribe, stay tuned for another video. If there is going to be a next episode, which is going to be, and once it arrived, I'm going to put a link uh, on the comment section down below pinned if it's not then this means it's not released yet just make sure to stay tuned for this because i might do it pretty much soon and uh, thank you guys again for watching today's video if you have any problems let me know in the comment section down below join to our discord server uh we will help a lot of people on there and they're pretty much you know happy about it and that would be awesome if you guys do it the same uh we're so close to a thousand members on discord server and yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for watching today's video this is dashcraft and i'm out I won't let you go